Okay, I'm going to show you how to construct or draw a line that has length the square root of 2. So we know the square root of 2 is an irrational number, but we can still draw a line that has length exactly the square root of 2. So we're going to start off by just draw, just draw any line that has length 1. We'll call it 1. It doesn't have to be 1 centimeter or 1 inch or 1 anything. It's just whatever you call to be 1. So just, just draw any line. Draw around about that size. So we're going to say, say that the length of that line is 1. Now what we want to do is we want to draw a perpendicular line, a line coming up here that also has length 1. So in order to get, make sure that the line has exactly the same length as that one, I'm going to get my compass and I'm going to put the point over here and I'm going to put the pencil part over here. So I'm going to measure that line. So now we have it exactly the same. I'm going to swing an arc, I'm going to swing an arc around here like this. Now, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line, so I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to put it here, just put it parallel to the original line. And I'm going to get my set square. I'm going to put it on the edge of the ruler. I'm just going to hold it to the edge of the ruler like that. So now we we can we'll definitely get a perpendicular line. I'm going to draw this line all the way up here. There we go there. So both of these lines are exactly the same length. Now this is one and this is also one. And now all we have to do is to join the two corners, the two edges. So watch. So we just join this to this. And the new line will have length the square root of two. So draw, join that all the way down there. So how do, how do I know that this line has length the square root of two? Well, we've, we've made a right angle triangle here. And by Pythagoras' theorem, let's call this, let's call the length of that line x. Well, by Pythagoras' theorem, x squared, the hypotenuse squared, square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So x squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared. x squared, 1 squared is 1, so x squared is equal to 2. And if x squared is 2, then that means that x is the square root of 2. So this line here has length the square root of 2. Okay, so in the next, this video, or this uh, <laughs> same video, but I'm going to show you how to draw a line that has length the square root of 3. So in order to draw a line that has length the square root of 3, we're going to first of all draw a line that has length the square root of 2. It's, going, it's kind of a um, similar, similar thing that we're going to do. So we'll just draw a line that has length the square root of 2 first. So, so you know how to do that from the previous video. So I have my line here. So that to draw a line that's length the square root of 1, that's w or square root of 2, that's 1. This is, okay, get the line the same length. So we start off with the same triangle as we did in the in the previous. Okay, and I'm going to draw this up here. So I'm, I'm drawing a line, remember, that has length, first of all, the square root of um, 2. But I want a line that has the length of the square root of 3, so I'll show you how we can get that. So we draw this up here like this. Okay, so this line has length 1, and then to get a line, if I draw this down here, uh, to join up those lines, then we know that this line, because that's a right angle triangle, we know that this line here has length the square root of 2. So now, okay, we want a line that has length the square root of 3. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a perpendicular line to this line. So we're going to draw a line up here that's perpendicular to this line and that has length 1. So I want, I'm going to guess length 1 on my compass. So between there and there should be the same. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I don't want to get in the way of the camera here, so try to do it with my left hand. I'm going to put us here. I'm just going to swing an arc. What is it? Okay, I'm going to swing an arc around there. So now I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from here all the way up to that. So, and this line will have length 1 also. So to draw a perpendicular line, I can use, use my ruler and a set square. So I could have my ruler and give my set square, put it on the edge of the ruler here like this. Just makes it easier to draw a perpendicular line. And I can draw this line all the way from there, all the way up to there. So I know that, I know that this line has length 1. This line has length 2, and I know that this is a right angle. So we can make another right angle triangle. Say, what happens if I join that line, this point up here, to this point down here? Watch what happens. So I join those two points. I don't want to get in the way of the, way of the camera. So let's see. I think I am in the way of it. So I join them down there. 
So look, we've created a right angle triangle. We've created, if I cover this one over the original one, we have another right angle triangle. So this line has length one, this line has length the square root of two. This is the hypotenuse. So let's see what length the hypotenuse is. So let's call it x. Now we go by Pythagoras' theorem. We'll say that x squared, the square and the hypotenuse, we're looking at this triangle, this one in here, the square and the hypotenuse, x squared, is equal to the other two sides squared. So one squared, one squared plus, and the length of this line is the square root of two. So the square root of two squared. So we have x squared is equal to one squared is one plus, Remember in a previous video I showed you that when you square a square root, you get what's in the square root. So the square root of 2 squared is actually 2. So we have x squared is equal to 3. And if x squared is 3, that means that x must equal the square root of 3. So we've drawn a line that has length the square root of 3. So this line has length the square root of 3. So first video, or first part, we drew a line that has length the square root of 2. And the second part, we drew a line that has length the square root of 3.